Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So you clicked on this video because you want to find out how you can find those hidden fruits. Well I'm going to tell you right now. The first thing I'm going to show you is the developer console. So say for example my target is google.com and Google has a very broad scope because everything from Google is in scope. So I want to find hidden gems on google.com. First thing I'm going to do of course is going to show you guys the developer console. I have a video made on this and I show you some tricks in there. So you can just serve some JavaScript files, you can prettify them. I will always look for uh, some endpoints in these JavaScript. So I'll go to my elements, I'll search for my JavaScript. I can also go to my console, uh, sorry, I mean to my sources, of course. Here I can view my uh, JavaScript files. I can also go to my network tab and I can show all JavaScript files that are being sent. So I can do a lot of stuff with these JavaScript files. Now, when I want to go specific, well, I look at one of them in particular, I go and open them in the sources panel and I can uh, pretty print them directly here and I can search for some paths. So for example, slash API, I can search for, I didn't find anything, slash YQL is something I use very often. You can look for slash admin. There are different search terms that you can use and I would use a word list that's reliable and one that you've built yourself from all the word lists that are available and from your own experience. So that was it. Let's go back into the functions. Now Google has some crazy stuff when you go into the console. It auto completes every single JavaScript function that can be executed. So for example, if I type the first letter on my keyboard, that's a Q, I'll see every single request that has a Q in it. When I go to the W, I can see every single request that has W in it. So I would really recommend you guys try to see what kind of um, what kind of functions that you can execute by just going through every single letter of the alphabet. It's not that much, you know, so I would really uh, recommend this. So the next thing I want to show you is nmap scans. Maybe you can find some hidden ports. For example, on this you have port 25 and port 443 and port 80 open. Maybe there's also something on port 8080. You can find some different stuff uh, on different ports sometimes. So for example, port 80 and 443 might be serving different content. Um, what I can also recommend is that you can uh, do a Nikto scan for finding vulnerabilities on the website. That's also pretty useful. Now for finding some more hidden endpoints, you can also do some Google OSINT. So I have a video on that which I will link in the description as well. You can just go like sitegoogle.com and you can minus everything that you've already been through and that way you can find every single Google domain that you find that Google has indexed itself. So it's kind of defeating itself in that uh, respect. I'm also going to link a video in the description again. Now the Wayback Machine is also a great source for URLs. I can just click the summaries or the sitemaps and find some URLs. For example, explore the wifi.google. Sorry, guys. Uh, for that uh, for that bump. I can explore the wifi.google.com domain and see which endpoints Wayback Machine has indexed. Maybe there are some hidden gems in here. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is DNS dumper. This might be interesting DNS dumpster because you can find all of the different DNS things in here. You can find for example all of the A records from Google and see which domains they have registered. And you might find some hidden domains in here as well. Depending on your scope, this might be interesting. I have some single target and multi-target recon as well, which I will link in the description again. So that's how you can find some hidden gems. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.